Small here, running triangle.com with a special guest, Mr. Kadeem Jack. He plays for the Reno Bighorns out of Queens, New York. Thanks for joining me today. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. So you from Queens, New York. I got to ask you a question. What was better, Ether or Takeover? I definitely say Ether. I think Nas is probably the greatest to do it, so I definitely pick Ether. Playing for the Reno Bighorns, you're going to get caught up to the NBA soon. What was it like, man, growing up in uh, Queens, playing high school basketball? Where'd you go to high school? And tell me about those experiences. Um, I actually went to school in Harlem at, at Rice. Um, it's closed down now, but, I mean, just the influences from all the boroughs, but especially Queens, because, you know, it's a, it's a kind of humble grind that comes with, a, like, a Queens guy. And um, a lot of guys came back and gave back, uh, somebody like Ray for Austin. He was my coach. Um, he coached me in um, AAU, and um, he taught me a lot of things. So, so it, it's 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 a lot of different ways you can get it. But I say like somebody like Ray Foster, who is a Queens guy. I say he he helped me. Who was your favorite player growing up in Queens? Uh, I say my favorite player would be Kenny Anderson. I just like um, he was from Left Rack City. That's where that's where I grew up. Um, and like he was just real tough. Um, he did his thing at Georgia Tech, and then um, came to the NBA. And he. He had a good career, but um, he could have had it. But he could have had a better. Career. Who did you model your game after, and who were some influences as far as you playing the game? Uh, it's tough to say. I say I take, I try to take um something from every player, something good, you know, and just try to um keep improving my game. Excellent. This is RunnerTriangle.com. You're with the Reno Bighorns now. How is it trying to cross over to the NBA? Tell us about the transition of trying to transition from college to the D League to the pros. I would say um, the one thing that somebody in this position would have to know is you just pro you just have to stay focused and, and just keep working. Just um, keep your head down and keep a steady grind because you're going to get the opportunity. You know, you just, um, you just have to be ready for it. A retiring player, Kobe Bryant, uh, this is going to be his, his final season. We were talking about the impact he had on this generation. Would you say he's been a Michael Jordan type player to you growing up with you being one of the younger players? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, Kobe was my favorite player for a very long time. So yes, yeah, I, I would definitely say that a lot of people compared it, compared the two. Um, I sometimes compared the two because um, cause of some of Kobe's mannerisms and whatnot. Right. So yeah, he definitely was very impactful for for uh, for my generation on basketball. Just just how much he focuses on the game and locks into different details. I think that was big for our generation. He's on the Reno Bighorns. His name is Kadeem Jack, and he joined us on RunTheTriangle.com. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.